Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here with game two of the 1979 Pirates versus the 1961 Phillies. And as you will recall, this is another in my series of uh, single elimination three game series between one really bad team from the past and one really good team from the past. And the Phillies actually won game one of this series. And they're the bad team. So, here we go with game two. If the Phillies can win, they will advance to the second round. And the 1979 World Champion Pirates will be left in the dust. Pitching today for the Pirates is, uh, well... Um, Pitching today for the Phillies, I should say first, is Frank Sullivan. And pitching for the Pirates will be Bruce Keeson. So Omar Moreno will lead off against um, Frank Sullivan. And let's put his name in there. And let's write in Bruce Keeson's name over here. And now we are ready to go. So Omar Moreno, he gets a six seven, which is a fly ball center field, so he's out. That brings up Bill Madlock, and he gets a six twelve, which is a fly ball left field, and he's out. And that brings up Dave Parker. And he gets a 1-5, which is a ground ball to second base. And he is also out. So, the Pirates get no runs in the first. And that brings up the Phillies. And that brings up Tony Gonzalez to lead off for them. 2-3 is a ground ball second base. He is out. Both pitchers on top of their game so far here. Johnny Callison gets a 1-8, which is a home run 1-4 or a fly ball. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field. So Callison flies out to Parker. And there's two away. And that brings up Wes Covington, who gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a walk. And that's the first base runner of the game is Wes Covington. Who is walked by Keeson. And then that brings up Don Demeter. And he gets a 3-7, which is a triple 1-3 or a single double asterisk. That's going to be a single double asterisk, and now there's runners at the corners. And all of a sudden... Out of nowhere, the Phillies have another rally going, as they had a couple of times at least in the first game. And Charlie Smith is up. He gets a 5-7, and that is a second base X, ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is Phil Garner, and he is a 2, and that's a 20. And 20 and 2 is an out 1. So Charlie Smith goes down, and the Phillies, despite a, uh, <coughs> a threat in that inning, come away with nothing. And so now the Pirates are up with Willie Stargell pops, and he gets a strikeout. So Frank Sullivan starts out much the same way Mahaffey started game one. Sending the Pirates down quickly every inning. John Milner is up. He gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout. That's two away. And that brings up Bill Robinson. And he gets a 5-9, which is a home run 1-16. And that is going to be a home run for Bill Robinson. So Bill Robinson puts the Pirates ahead. With his first home run of the series. And Sullivan gives up the first run of the game on a home run to Robinson. And Phil Garner comes up. 
He gets a 5'11", and that's going to be a walk. So Garner is aboard with a walk. And now that brings up Ed Ott. And Ed Ott gets a single, or a, no, a ground ball to the second baseman. So Ott is out, and the Pirates go down, but they do get a run. So the Pirates, the 79 Pirates, take a 1-0 lead. And that brings up Pancho Herrera. And he gets a 3-3, which is a walk. So, Pacho Herrera walks. That is the third base runner allowed by Keeson. Two on walks and one on a single. And Ruben Amaro comes up and he gets a 111, which is a single one to two. And he is going to be out. One away, one on. Tony Taylor up. 5-8 is a fly ball to the right fielder, two away. Taylor flies out to Parker. And Clay Dalrymple comes up and he gets a 2-7, which is a line out to second. So the Phillies go down quickly in the second. A lot quicker than they did in the first. And that brings us to the top of the third with Tim Foley up and he gets a 5-7 which is a ground ball to the second baseman for the Phillies. And the base, the second baseman for the Phillies is Tony Taylor. He's a three, that's a seven, that's probably an out and it is. So Tim Foley gone. Omar Moreno up, he gets a six five, which is a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is, I believe, Ruben Amaro and he's a two. And that's a 14, believe that's an out too, that is. So Moreno is gone and there's two down quickly for the Pirates and Bill Madlock comes up and he gets a 4-7, which is a walk. So Madlock is aboard. And that brings up Dave Parker and he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a fly ball to right field. So Parker flies out. And the Pirates come away with nothing in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. And that brings up Tony Gonzalez. He gets a 2-12, which is a line out to first base. Back at the top of the order, and there with uh, Gonzalez, and there's one down. And then Callison comes up, and he gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball second base. He is also out. Again, I'm using DHs in all of my series. It's just easier for me, even, and it's where it's the way baseball is going as well. So, Wes Covington comes up and he gets a 4 3. And 4 3 is a catcher card. That's Ed Ott. And that's a 20, and Ott is a 3. 20 and 3 is roll again. And that's a, what is that? That's a six. Six and three is a safe at first on air dribbler. So Covington gets a board on an air by Ott. And let's see if the Phillies can capitalize on that with Don Demeter up. And he gets a five, eight. And that's going to be a fly ball to right field. So Demeter is out. We go to the top of the fourth. The Phillies losing just one nothing here to the world champion 1979, We Are Family Pirates. And where is my other dice? There it is. Willie Stargell comes up. He gets a 2-7. That's a strikeout. He just misses a home run. And Sullivan's been pitching well. He's only given up one hit and two walks, but the one hit was a home run. John Milner's up. And he gets a 3-9, which is a fly ball to center. And here comes the guy who hit the home run, Bill Robinson. Hit the home run for the Pirates in the second. And he gets a strikeout this time. Just misses his second home possible home run. But no runs. We go to the bottom of the fourth. 
Charlie Smith is up for the Phillies. 1-7 is a strikeout. Keeson with his actual first strikeout of the game. Pancho Herrera gets a 6-11, which is a ground ball first base C. There's two away. And up steps Ruben Amaro. And he gets a 310, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, and he is out as well. We go to the top of the fifth. The Pirates ahead. One nothing here in the in the uh, top of the fifth inning. Garner, Phil Garner up five nine is a home run one to sixteen and Garner can put him yes he does put him ahead two nothing. So that is only the second hit allowed by Frank Sullivan, but it is also on two homers that um, give the Pirates now a two nothing lead. Ed Ada, he gets a 5-4. That is a ground ball short. Short is a 2. 16 and 2. That could be something. No, it isn't. So Ott is out. One away. That brings out Tim Foley. He gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout. I'm telling you, Sullivan here, I mean, he's pitching well. That's his fifth strikeout of the game. Omar Moreno, 1-6 is a single one to 16. And he does get a board. So Moreno is a board with a hit. Third hit allowed. Um, he is going to try to steal. And that's a seven. He makes it. There's no universe where he doesn't make that stolen base. So, um, Madlock is up, and there's a 4-6, but that's a strikeout. Sixth strikeout for Sullivan, who is, again, pitching well, but also losing 2 nothing because his offense can't get him any runs. Tony Taylor up there. That's a 4-8, which is a double 1-12. Or a single, and it's going to be a double. So Taylor gets a leadoff double off of Keeson. So the question now with Dalrymple, and the answer is easy, they're going to sacrifice with Dalrymple. That's a seven, probably moves the runner over to third, I would imagine. Batter is thrown out, runners advance, yep. So, runner is at third. There is one away, and that brings up Tony Gonzalez. Six five is a strikeout. So Gonzalez goes down on strikes. Keeson with a key strikeout with a man ninety feet away. And the second out of the inning, and then Johnny Callison comes up, and he gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball out to the first baseman. So they came close to getting their first run, but didn't quite. They weren't quite able to put it away and get that, that first run on the board. Dave Parker is up. 1-7 is a single one to 15. And he does have a single. So Parker is aboard. Parker's a stealing A, so he's going to try it too. That's a five, so he makes it. There's no way he doesn't make it. Willie Stargell up, and he gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball to center field. He's out. John Milner up. Milner gets a 6-8, which is a double one to 15. And that is a double. So Milner knocks in the third Pirates run. 
and uh, that's Parker that scored. And uh, Bill Robinson's up. He gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball second base. And the second baseman's Tony Taylor. He's a 3. That's a 13. 13 and a 3 is an out 1. So that's 2 away for the Pirates. Robinson out. And that brings up Phil Gardner. Scrap iron. 5-11. He gets a walk. So runners are at the corners. And up steps that odd. And he gets a 5-8, which is a triple one or a single double asterisk. That's going to be a single for Ed Ott. And now the whole thing is starting to fall apart for Frank Sullivan. And that brings up Tim Foley. 4 8 is a single one to 11. And that's also a single and another run. And Omar Moreno steps up and he gets a strikeout. So Omar Moreno mercifully ends the inning for Sullivan and the Phillies. Um, Help them get out of it, but the Pirates scored three more runs there and now lead 5 nothing. And that will bring up Wes Covington. And now the Phillies really have their work cut out for them here. One eleven is a single, though, to lead off for Wes Covington and the Phillies. Third hit allowed by Keeson. Don Demeter up. That's a 4 3. 4 3 is a catcher card X. He is a 3, I believe. Yes. And that is undeterminable. 3 3 on the catcher is a pop out. So that's one away. Demeter out. Charlie Smith, he gets a 5-11. That's a fly ball left field. The left fielder today for the Pirates is Bill Robinson, and he's a 2. That's a 20. That's going to be an out. So Charlie Smith is out. Two away. And that brings up Pancho Herrera, and he gets a strikeout. Okay, and that brings up the Pirates, but we are going to have a pitching change. We're taking Frank Sullivan out. He only pitched six. He pitched six innings, allowed seven hits, struck out seven, walked three, allowed two, uh, five runs on two earned, or uh, five earned runs on two homers. So... They are going to go with they're going to bring in Chris Short to pitch. And Bill Madlock will face Chris Short. 1-3 is a pop out to shortstop. One away. Dave Parker gets a 3-5, which is a home run 1-14. to And that is going to be a home run for Madlock. So the Pirates, it's a complete 180 from their first game of this series. Stargell up. He gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout. Two away, 
And that brings up John Milner, and he gets a 4-2, which is a fly ball to the right fielder. And he's out on that. But the Pirates get one more in the seventh. And after six and a half, the Pirates lead it 6 nothing. Ruben Amaro up. He gets a 4-8. That is a double 1-12 to 12 on Keeson. And that's going to be a double for Amaro. Um, yeah, Amaro. Keeson only giving up the fourth hit um, of the game for him. Tony Taylor. Tony Taylor gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. Shortstop is a 2 um, no, he's a three. Twenty and three. That shortstop is roll again. Eight and three is an out three. So that's one away. Taylor out. Dell Rimple up. Four ten is a fly ball to center field. Moreno is a one. That's an out. And that brings up Tony Gonzalez. And he gets a 310, which is a single double asterisk and knocks in the Phillies' first run of the game. However, at this point, they may be just a little too far back to catch the Pirates, but we will see if that's the case. Johnny Callison is up. He gets a 2 6, which is a walk. And up steps West Covington, who gets a single one to 13. Maybe, maybe they aren't too far back. Covington gets a single and loads the bases up. Sixth hit allowed for Keeson. Don Demeter up, and he gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Foley, and he is a three, and that's a two. That's going to be something. That's going to be a single two. So two runs, two more runs come in. And now it's 6-3. All of a sudden the Phillies are back in this. Charlie Smith is up. He gets a 4-4, which is a third base X. The third baseman is Madlock, and he's a three. And that's a three. That's going to be something, too. Yes, that's a single one. And so another run comes in. Um, so he scores. And yeah, this is what we've got. Charlie Smith. And uh, they've got, they're going to have Kent DeColvey, the Pirates, will, warming up in the bullpen. Pancho Herrera up one. And what is that? Nine is a strikeout. So, I think that's it. Is it? I only have one mark, but I think that they had two. Yeah, they had two outs. So, but they do, they do uh, fight their way back and manage to get four runs and make it six to four. Keeson, yes, will probably not be... Coming out next inning, but we will see. Um, so, yes. Bill Robinson is up. The Phillies still have Chris Short out there. 5-7 is a double one to 13. You don't want to see that after all that fighting back. Bill Robinson with a single. Phil Garner up. He gets a 6-10, which is a fly ball to center. That's one away. Ed Ott gets a 4-9, which is a strikeout. That's two away. And Tim Foley up. 
and he gets a 6-5, which is a fly ball right field. And the Pirates get no runs in the 8th. We go to the bottom of the 8th. The Phillies losing 6-4. And they are going to bring in Kent Colby. So, um, Keeson only goes 7. And that brings in to Colby. Kent Colby will pitch to Ruben Amaro to lead off the bottom of the eighth. And he gets a 2-7, which is a walk. So don't count the Phillies out just yet. Amaro was a stealing E, so he's going to stay right where he is. Tony Taylor up. He gets a 3-7, which is the ground ball, um, third base, double play. So Taylor hits into a double play to kill the rally before it gets started. And then Del Rimple gets a 1-8, which is a line out to second base. The Phillies, however, will have the top of their order coming up in the ninth inning. So that brings up Omar Moreno. He gets a 1-5, which is a single. Chris Short with a hit allowed, and he will try to steal. That's a 19. He's out. So Moreno is thrown, he's caught stealing, one away. Helps Chris Short possibly stay in the game. Bill Madlock, 4-8 is a single. Dave Parker up. He gets a 5-10, which is a ground, it was a fly ball center field, and the center fielder is a 2. That's um, Tony Gonzalez. That's a 3. That's going to be bad. That's very bad. Safe at second on error 2. So the Phillies will have to bring the infield in. I mean, they're just going to have to. On the error by Gonzalez. Stargell up, 6-12, is a ground ball, pitcher B, two away, nobody moves because uh, the infield was in, infield will move back to normal depth with Milner up, and he gets 2-8, which is a walk, and that loads the bases with Pirates, Chris Short, this is a critical batter right here, Bill Robinson. And that's a 5-5, five, five, which is a ground ball short. The shortstop is Amaro. He's a 2. That is a, what is that? That's a 6. 6-2 six and two looks like it's going to be an out. And it is. So, Bill Robinson was out. And the Pirates despite a serious rally right there and looking like they could cause some problems and put really put the game away they don't and so now the Phillies losing by two come into the bottom of the ninth Tony Taylor or Tony Gonzalez up trying to atone for that error last inning three seven is a single maybe he will he gets a hit off to Colby. That's the first hit to Colby's allowed in his second inning now of work. Johnny Callison gets a 5-7, which is a single 1-10. to And that is a single. The Phillies have the first two runners on in the ninth, losing just by two runs. Wes Covington is up. And he gets a 1-4. Do you believe this? He hits a home run. Wes Covington, I believe, has just put the Phillies into the next round. You like that? You like that? Because that's a three-run home run. And, uh, yeah, DeColvey allows a hit. The home run, one, two, three. The Phillies get three, and they win the game. Seven to six. What 
a comeback. What an amazing game. The Phillies, unbelievably, are the first losing team to advance to the next round, and they did it in two games, beating the Pirates by the score of 8-6 in Game 1 and now 7-6 in Game 2. Unbelievable. I would not have believed it if somebody had told me this. Um, and even Chris Short in relief. I mean, Chris Short was not very good that year, but he held him. So that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, from this amazing series where the 61 Phillies have advanced to the next round over the 1979 Pirates.